fans, are you excited for our 2024 banner reveal? Come on, it's going to be a good one tonight in Coleman Coliseum. We got a little three-point contest action that's about to take place. One minute on the clock. Three, two, one, two. Woo, we got a tight one. Mark heating up. Here we go. Moneyball. Make some noise for our three-point winner, Mark Sears. A dunk contest about to take place. If I make it to the final round, I'm jumping over Big Al. Big Al is in the paint. Woo! Tense! Tense! Dunk champion Darian Reed makes some noise, fans. Ladies and gentlemen, please turn your attention to the Raptors. As for the first time in the history of men's basketball, we reveal the banner. Last year, it was a pretty interesting year. We had a new team, a lot of new guys. If you look at it in that aspect, a rebuilding year for Coach Oates, but he never looked at it as that. Started off the season pretty solid, getting some real good key wins at home. Then we struggled for a little bit, um, playing a lot of tough teams. But then we picked it again back up during March Madness. You know, there were some disappointing losses we had in there. I, I just felt like we just had to get our guys to really good defensive mindset. Players bought in. You know, we, we had five games there in the NCAA tournament where we played our best defense of the year. So if you're going to wait to guard, you may as well wait till uh, the NCAA tournament. But this year we're going to try to guard people the entire year and uh, have a great regular season, SEC play, and NCAA tournament run. And it felt like a, a big dream, you know, uh, seeing the clock from 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and the confetti hitting the floor. I remember a lot of us running around on the court. And to be in LA, you know, it was a, it was a such a real feeling. An amazing feeling. It, it honestly reminded me of my dad uh, cutting down his nets when he won his championships in South Korea. So it was definitely a great experience. Yeah, I mean, that was my first championship I've ever won besides some like small tournaments or AAU tournaments, but that was a cool experience to me, and it was something I've dreamed of my whole life, so it was just great to do it with that group of guys last year. Yeah, a lot of guys play well. Mark Sears was great through the low NCAA tournament run. Grant Nelson was so good against Carolina. Jaron Stevenson hitting those five threes against Clemson. You know, a special group that really bought into doing it the right way for a few weeks there in March. You know, getting on that stage to accept the uh, regional trophy to send us to the Final Four was a special moment. The tie rises in the West. And the champions of this regional are headed to their first Final Four in school history. Alabama basketball is headed to the Final Four. When you're not focused, you've got distractions. Now the practice is going to be two and a half hours long, and it's going to be harder and you're gonna to have to have some mental toughness to have no distractions. Can, can, we, can we keep it that way? Okay, that's, that's, that's how we're gonna make sure we don't wait until late and underachieve all year. We, we, we're trying to have a, a good year from start to end, not just try to get it together in March. That's it today. What do we need to do to get better? And let's make sure we get after it. Roll, go, get to the rim, good, perfect. In the Texas drill, if you're not sprinting the wing and you're not wide outside the blue X's coming back, I'm calling game over. It's too slow. Everybody's on a dead sprint coming back. Go, go, good block. We've got 13 guys on scholarship. I think we've got a really good mix. We've got five guys returning. You know, Mark Sears being an All-American decided to come back, give himself and Home state team, Alabama, a chance to win a national championship. Grant Nelson, fifth year guy, great season for us last year, comes back to try to win a national championship play in the NBA. So, got those two. Got Latrell Wright, who was the fourth most efficient player in the country, you know, understands how we want him to play. He's been great. Two kind of front court guys, Jared Stevenson, who went 5 8 from three to send us to a final four. And 
Mo Diabate, we don't even get to the second weekend if he doesn't play as well as he does against Grand Canyon. So all five of those guys were big parts of our run last year, know how we want to play and embody who we want to be. So it's great to have a core group of guys that know what we're about that came back. With the shot selection I've shot and what I've been through and worked out here, like they've led me to be the fourth most efficient player in the country. And with the love of the fans, like, I mean, it's hard to leave this spot. Like, it's just so much love with Coach Oates coming back and talking to my parents about coming back. Like, I couldn't say no. Just seeing the roster, we have a, a one of the most talented rosters that have been put together here. And uh, I want to be a part of that. And I want to do something that hasn't been done here and bring it back home. I feel like returning was the best decision for me. Again, because I feel like I still have a whole lot more to show. So, yeah, I'm glad to be back. You add in four transfers and four freshmen. So it's great to have that mix. So you kind of look at the, the four freshmen. And I think with freshmen, you got to have guys with high upside that, that bring some ability to play right away. Darion Reed's been great. We got to get him healthy, but he, he's going to play. He's tough. He's smart. Barron's been one of our best two way guards. Like, been a lead on the defensive end with his instincts. And, Aiden Shirell's super skilled big, like an ideal big for our system, can step out, make threes at a high level. Now it's Tony Nam's got really, really high upside, athletic, shoots the ball well. Then you go to the four. Transfers, you know, we, we had a big problem with rim protection last year. I, I don't think we're going to have nearly as big a problem with Cliff in the middle. I mean, Cliff, to me, was one of the best rim protectors in the country. We went out and got him. You had a guy like Chris Youngblood in, who's conference player of the year in a really good conference. He brings a leadership, shooting, toughness. Houston Mallet, it's another guy who scored a thousand plus points, been really good. His leadership's been great. He's a great guy to have in your program that can kind of play one through four. And he, he's an unbelievable kid. Like he's the kind of character guy you want in your program, and he's a really good basketball player too. And then Holloway, you know, he doesn't miss much. He's he's as good a shooter as we've had. So to have the experience in the SEC already. Coming from Auburn and shooting as well as he is, he fits great in our system. He's, he's been looking great in practice, too. You know, I always knew at some point in my career I was going to be at the University of Alabama because that's where, it's, that's where it's home at. And, you know, ever since I got here, I've been enjoying it and just been having the most fun I can while, you know, doing the thing I love on the court. Like, it's an NBA play style. It, I, I fit perfectly into it. We, we get a lot of threes up, and, and I'm a guy who can knock down threes. Coach Oates, he, he's no joke. Like He's the real deal, and I would love to be coached by someone of that caliber. Paracord, one per participant. Chain, one per team. Bricks, one per participant. Hammer, one per team. You have one minute to look at the map, and your clock starts. They all know the secret. The boys, they the they secret. left they the map. <laughs> Where you going? They are, they are. The retreat was a way for us to bring the guys together, build a bond, develop a chemistry, build some mental toughness, put them through some difficult circumstances to get them to open up and then reflect and kind of talk through and then just kind of get to know each other better as people. Spend time together. It goes a long ways. I think if you asked all our players, while it may be difficult, they go through some stuff they're not comfortable with. I think at the end, they they love it because they learn how to love their teammates and learn how to bond and just have a good time with their teammates for uh, 48 hours there. Bitch, come on. Where's Trell? Right. It should be somewhere on the left. Nah, it's the, it's the orange one. It really brings us together and be a built chemistry. We go through many different challenges there. Um, it really tests our me mental strength and even our physical strength, being able to go out there, push through our fatigue, test our mental strength as in how we bond together, strategize, and find a, find a way to do that. So it's really helped build our chemistry. Cut that way. Hey. This one's so south. And we have to get to this feedback and meet them. Hey, bro. 
I can't see you. Hello? You said what? I got you. I'm on the way. Yeah, hello? Yeah. Right, Stop playing What'd with What you us, say, man? man? Yeah, bet. Yeah. W. He's like, oh, left the road. Y'all, boy, come on. You hurt, you hurt.